Some bad news for Byron today as it looks like Lucas Hernandez might be in some hot water as he is summoned for a prison sentence. Let's get right into it. There's a crazy situation going on here. From a formal notice issued from the Madrid court on September 14th, it sounds like Lucas Hernandez is summoned to appear in that Madrid court on October 19th in order to be personally required to enter prison voluntary, voluntarily within 10 days in the penitentiary center of his choosing. So, wow. Big, big news. It sounds like Lucas Hernandez might be facing some prison time. This is obviously... A very, very big deal. Obviously, Bayern Munich does not want that press going around their team, but I'll try to get a little bit into the details of what happened. I don't want to, you know, analyze too, too much because obviously there's there's such little that we can see. I'm just going to tell you what I've heard um, from my most reliable sources. Obviously, it's not like a game where I can tell you, you know, this is a match review. This is what I saw. I don't really see. I don't really have my own, like, sources on this, so... Take this all with a grain of salt, um, but this is what I am hearing, and... Basically, it sounds like Hernandez had a restraining order with his girlfriend. Um, I guess that was his wife at the time, maybe. And it sounds like there was some domestic violence. And actually, the girlfriend or wife was hospitalized due to some domestic violence back in 2017. So this is obviously a very big deal. And obviously, Lucas Hernandez might be in some very deep water because it sounds like they had an altercation in the middle of the street. And they are both... Um, sentenced to 31 days of community service um, from that altercation. Um, I don't think there's any videos or anything like that, but it sounds like um, they kind of went on from this. They recovered from obviously this incident and they had this you know, restraining order for six months. It sounds like they kind of recovered from that and whatever kind of violence and dispute they were in, they got back together because four months later, just as there was two months left in that restraining order, they actually went on a honeymoon. And on their way back from the honeymoon, it sounds like the authorities stumbled upon this realization that, okay, they're out together and they were found together at the airport. So obviously they were breaking this restraining order. And now it sounds like Hernandez and his spouse have both publicly stated that they've moved on from the incident. But it seems like they don't really care. It just seems like the press and obviously... There, like, there was a real law put in place that you can't see each other, and they ignored that. Whether they both wanted to or not, that's still legally binding, and that would, of course, mean jail time for Lucas Hernandez. Of course, he is an athlete, he is a celebrity. They might look at things differently here. Personally, I don't think people should be looked at differently due to, you know, celebrity status or wealth. It sounds like Hernandez's legal representation has appealed the ruling, so they are trying to fight this. Obviously, Maybe there's some leniency there. I don't know too much about law, but obviously they both ignored it. They both were fine seeing each other despite all the violence and altercation that did happen. It sounds like they wanted to be together. Obviously, they went back on the honeymoon, but of course, the law doesn't see it that way. So this is obviously going to be a very, very big decision. I'm sure we'll see hear more about it in the next few days because obviously they said they want him by October 19th to enter the penitentiary of his choice. So it sounds like... Unless something changes in the next few days, he will be facing jail time. I don't think they said how long for, but this will be interesting to see what happens. Obviously, this has major implications on Bayern Munich and their squad going forward. Right now, I don't want to speculate too much until we know more details, but it sounds like this could mean some trouble for Lucas Hernandez. Regardless, there's going to be some really bad press and probably bring up some things that he doesn't want people to see. Obviously, that altercation with his wife... Not something you want to kind of bring to the press again, so it'll be interesting to see if his name's kind of dragged through the mud here. Kind of moving on from the law side of things, because I don't want to get too political here, I'm going to talk about this, obviously, implications on Bayern Munich. If he does uh, have to leave the team for however long, I'm not sure, obviously, what's going to happen. But obviously, he was our best defender without a doubt last season, and so far he's been solid once again this year. So losing Lucas Hernandez would be a major blow to the team. We might see maybe a winter transfer to cover for that. Obviously, we lost Alaba and Boateng at center back last year. And I know Lucas Hernandez can play both left back and center back. Maybe we need something a bit more dynamic. I'm not sure Omar Richards would be ready to take over that left back role if, for some reason, Alfonso Davies became sick, got COVID, or got injured. So there's definitely a concern if Hernandez does have to leave this team that, you know, we might be really low on squad rotation. I do think this is going to have major implications on his season if he does missed time. Obviously, this is crazy, crazy news today. Um, I, I do think that whatever happened, I'm not going to make it really a comment on that, but 
As for Bayern Munich, this would be bad news if Lucas Hernandez is out. And honestly, he should be tried uh, through the whatever crime it was, whether that's breaking restraining order. I don't think he should be treated differently just because he is an athlete. So we'll see what happens. But of course, nothing is settled until we see him in a jail cell. So there could be kinds of overrulings and all that stuff. So nothing's official yet, but it sounds like he might miss some time or at least you know, have to deal with this and maybe step away from Byron and soccer for a bit. But probably not what the news you kind of wanted to get back to after winning the Nations League this weekend kind of brought it back down to earth a bit. Obviously, this is not the news anyone wants to hear, but of course, that is the law. You can't break it and... If he has to pay the time, that's what's going to happen, and Bayern Munich is going to have to adjust accordingly. So we'll see what happens. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it insightful as possible. I know I couldn't go too much into details and assuming things, but hopefully it was still kind of informative, and I hope you like this video. If you did like, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more Bayern Munich content in the future, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Much more Bayern Munich content coming in the future. I'm very excited to share it all with you. Hope to see you all in the next one. Hope you're having a great day. See you all in the next one. Mia Samia.